Banana. Tennis ball. Mouse. It is very simple for us humans to identify objects around us. Now, using machine learning, my robot can identify 1000 objects including these. TensorFlow website provides great material for getting started. By navigating to mobile and IoT section, we can find ML models and examples for running TensorFlow on Raspberry Pi. This project can be summarized in three steps. Install TensorFlow Lite Interpreter. Select a ML model. Customize sample Python code. We start by updating and upgrading the Raspberry Pi. Then we navigate to Python Quick Start link. Here, we can find a TF Lite wheel file for our Python version. Copy this URL and paste it in the terminal and execute. It will download the lightweight TensorFlow interpreter on Raspberry Pi. Also, download these dependencies. Now, we need a trained model. Training a model requires a large set of data. Then, you need to carefully design a model with multiple layers of convolutional and deep neural networks. Then, feed this data into the model and train it. This results in a saved model. Then convert this saved model to TF Lite using TF Lite converter so that it can be used on Raspberry Pi. Thankfully, people at Google AI have created a ready to use trained model called MobileNet that is specifically tuned for embedded devices. It can be downloaded from TensorFlow website. The downloaded model has an associated text file. It contains names of thousand objects which this model can classify. The model file looks something like this. To make sense out of this, we have already installed TF Interpreter. The code begins with initializing GPIO, TF Interpreter and Camera. Then it loops continuously to perform these tasks. Let's freeze this moment and take a look what is happening inside the robot. The image captured by the camera has dimensions 640 by 480. This image is converted to 224 by 224 to make it compatible with the model. The resize image is fed to the interpreter for inference. Since the model has 1000 classes, interpreter returns prediction probabilities with respect to each 1000 of them. These prediction probabilities are then sorted and only top 3 are retained, which are also displayed on terminal window. If the topmost prediction crosses the threshold of 50%, then its corresponding label is displayed on the camera view and also spoken out through audio port of Raspberry Pi via text-to-speech functionality. If the label belongs to specific objects such as tennis ball and mouse, then the code actuates motion and light. 
all of this happens in a fraction of second. Let's unfreeze the moment. This is the location of code in Raspberry Pi. These two files pertain to pre-trained model MobileNet V1. This Python file contains the logic of real-time image classification. The code can be downloaded from the link provided below.